Hey guys, welcome to another video and thanks for joining me uh, back on the C to C crochet. Uh, this is kind of a second part video. The afghan is complete as I have showed you on my YouTube and my Facebook if you guys follow me there. And of course it's too big for me to get into the whole picture here, but this is a completed afghan project from... Um, uh, I believe the size uh, I had I think it was like 47 blocks or so so um, I did not get a an accurate size but it consisted of 47 blocks here or there by the time I was completed um, so what I wanted to do is have you to go back to the red heart pattern of the uh, corner to corner pattern itself it's the LW1595 pattern and as I always do you do need to either go to their site pull it up on your device of whichever is your choice to use or print it from a printer um, we're only doing the edging part this time and I'm going to show you how to do the edge that they have um, following their uh, C to C project now mind you you do not have to go with their edging you can add any of the thousands of edging um, types that they have out there probably triple that um, I know in lots of the books that I have there's I've probably got over a thousand two thousand different types I could add to this but I've had requests um, to do the one by Red Heart so that's what I'm going to show you now if you remember on my past video of showing you the um, the uh, afghan here that I was doing I only added two uh, block rows of this uh, multicolor by Karen um, and that was my choice I did not follow the red heart pattern um, when I made my afghan so I did not use red heart but I'm just showing you the border now had I followed the pattern I would have used their yarn that's just a special note but I did this on my own I did not use their pattern so that is a note um, but um, I made mine just I went off on a frenzy and just made my own like most people do but I chose to use my own yarn which was Karen so um, I'm going to use my bordering Karen also so this is the yarn that I chose and um, I'm going to do my whole border in that so you're going to go ahead and do your slip knot with your yarn I'm going to zoom down a little bit so you can see so now on the red heart border what they're going to tell you to do with the right side face and is you're going to attach your yarn into the same chain three space as your last slip stitch okay um, so basically where you ended up that chain three space which is right there okay you see where my fingers are right there which is basically your corner you're going to go in there and just pull yourself through and through with your slip stitch okay and then all you're going to do is you're going to chain three okay I'll try not to get out of the picture here all right <clears throat> now what you're going to do is do four double crochet in the same space and if you want to which I do I work over the tail a little bit so it gets locked in there so let's do four double crochet here so there's one two three and four okay so basically what it is they have you working in a corner and that's where you're gonna start so then what you want to do is you want to single crochet in the center double crochet of the next block so you want to move over here you see this next block which is consistent of three double crochet so you have one two three which is you're working in the center double crochet so you want to go into the top of that you can drop that if you want and then you're just going to go into the top of that get out of there ah get out of there and you're just going to put in a single crochet in the top of that okay and then what you're going to do from there is you're going to chain another three no I'm sorry pull that out lost my place 
Sorry guys, I do that every once in a while. Um, you're going to do, actually you're going to do three double crochet in the next chain three space, which is right here. So just jump over there and do three double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm going to back up just a little bit so I don't keep getting out of the camera. It's hard with a big afghan here in your lap and try not to knock your camera out of the way too. So if you see so far, this is what we have, okay? So then what you want to do is you're going to, let's see, you got three double crochet and then you're going to do three chains here, okay? Now here's the, the little part. Let me zoom back in so I, I have to have you to see this part. Now, here's where you're going to do a slip stitch in the top of the last double crochet, which is the all familiar peacoat stitch. So what you're going to do, you did your three chains, but now you want to go in, you see your double crochet right here, okay, this double crochet. You're going to go into the top of that double crochet right there. And then you're just going to pull out and pull through and through. That makes your little bobble right there, which is your peacoat stitch. Okay? So then that's just going to put your little point there at the top. So that's a peacoat stitch, okay? So then you're going to do two double crochet into that same space. So you're going to go back into that same space you're in and do two double crochet. One and two. Okay? See, it gives you a little bobble, <laughs> a little bobble up there. Um, okay, so then now you want to single crochet. Remember what we did. So you have these three double crochet. You want to jump to the center one again with a single crochet. Just kind of connects things so that they're not running loose on you. Sorry, my computer blacks out, so I have to reach over and tap it a little bit. All right, now in the next um, space, you want to do five double crochet. Now, not here, but here, okay? You want to do five double crochet there, all right? So you just jump over, and you want to do five doubles. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? Now, that is it. That is going to be, I'm going to lay that out and I'm going to zoom in and let you see the pattern. The, the whole pattern itself that you're going to work all the way around this afghan. Okay? That's, that's it. That's all you're going to do all the way from one end of this afghan to the other to complete this border. So, basically, you're going to work this afghan, this, sorry, not this afghan, but this border all the way around this afghan. It's that simple. There's nothing um, difficult about that. So, um, you got your little, <laughs> that tickles me, that little bobble sticking up there. But um, that's, that's all there is to it. You're just going to work that all the way across. And um, I'm going to do this one more time for you. And then I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish this whole side. And then once I get to the corner, I'm going to work the corner with you. And then I'm just going to set you free because that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's do this whole pa stitch pattern one more time together. Sorry, guys. Okay. So let's repeat this whole process. Let's move over. So basically, you're going to go back and you're going to single crochet, okay? So again, you've got your next block of three, so you want to pick the middle one. And you want to single crochet in that middle one, okay? And then you want to do three double crochet right here in that next, I would call sideways block here, in that chain three space. So you're going to put three just automatically jump right in there and you want to pull that one a little tighter because you see that big gap I don't like when it does that you see this 
how that's so sometimes I'll take that back out and I'll tighten that up a bit and redo that and I'll hold it down to see how I'm holding it with my thumb and then I'll kind of release it there see that makes it better and then you put your three double crochet here all right so there's your three double crochet okay and then what you'll do is chain three so one two three here's where you're going to go back down into the top of this one and you're going to go into the top of that double crochet and do a slip stitch pull through and through make that little bobble that I think is so cute and see how it pops up at the back and then you'll do two double crochet in that same stitch you're in so one bobble get out the way one and two okay then you'll jump over here and do another single crochet into that middle double crochet right there of that three uh, block situation you got going and then in this next one you will do your five double crochet sorry guys out of the camera so you'll go right there and do five double crochet up there we go one two three four and five okay so see you have the second um, part of that so you're just going to do that all the way across until you get to the um, stop at the uh, very end before you get to the corner okay don't do the last section we'll do that together and then when we get to the corner here we'll work the corner together all right so once I get to that point I will come back on film and we'll work that together and then I'll set you free and you can border your entire afghan all right so I'll meet you up all right guys I am back we are now going to do our last segment here before we get to the corner so what we're going to do is we're going to go do our first part of it which is a single crochet into the single or not the single but the uh, second double crochet there of that three uh, cluster and then you're going to go jump right over to that chain three space and we're going to do our three double crochet there so there's two and three okay and then here's where we're going to chain three and then we're going to make that peacoat so we're going to go down in the top of that double crochet pull through and through and then put those two double crochet in the same space okay and then we're going to jump over here and do that single crochet again into that middle double crochet okay now typically we would be doing a five double crochet but because we're at a corner we are going to do what the instructions say which they want us to go in the corner space and do four double crochet here okay so one two three and four okay now we need to make a peacoat which we're going to have to do the chain three and then you'll go down inside that top stitch double crochet I mean and then pull through and through and then you'll do three more double crochet right into the same corner so one two and three that's going to be your corner okay and then all you're going to do is you're going to turn 
and then you're just going to do the same process all the way around your afghan. Now when you get going down this side they may look a little bit different because it's a different edge um, but they work out the same way you just have to pay a little bit better attention to them but they're not that different. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to making the uh, red heart version of the uh, corner to corner uh, edge and you can see how mine turned out. Sorry guys it's little bit cloudy here and I'm kind of in a corner upstairs but um, I think once you guys get the video it lightens up a bit more so than what I see on my camera but um, this is what your border turns out to be and it's very simple and very basic yet the little bobbles <laughs> my favorite they just um highlight it uh, it's just like a little fan with a little bobble on it um, nothing hard to do. So once you get it all the way around your afghan, it turns out to be very beautiful. So this is your, um, again, the pattern is LW1595 from Red Heart. If this is the border you want to use for your afghan, for your uh, corner to corner C to C afghan. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, until next time, happy hooking.